It's Dumb Motion Derby for Life. I'm here gonna do an update video, or not an update video, a new car video. I recently, today, purchased a new derby vehicle. And this is the vehicle that's going to Wisconsin in October, uh, October 19th. It is the uh, 70s and 72 and older vehicles. So, I finally picked it up. Um, it is not the wagon that I said I might get. Um, I found out that the wagon was a uh, 73. It was not a 72, so I could not run it. I was a little bummed out, but happens. But I picked out a different one. I went through, I kind of searched through a few different vehicles. Um, uh, the one that I was going to pick which is the same exact vehicle of what this one was, was very clean on the outside, but underneath it was not very clean. So I decided to go with this one, which is very, not too bad on the outside, but is actually really good underneath. So this is the vehicle that I'm going to be taking to Wisconsin this year. It is a 19... 68 Ford Galaxy 500. I picked this up from a buddy that I've known for a while now. He was my dad's buddy, and he derbies nothing but old iron. He has a lot more older cars like this, and of different varieties too. And he sold this one to me. Um, he knows, he said, that he knows that I'm gonna build this thing right and make sure I do good with it. Um, he's told me some tricks about these. He's been derbing since he was in high school. He's in a he's a lot older now. He's in his 40s, and he told me some tricks. And I know some other buddies that have also told me some tricks on how to build these cars. And I'm planning on going there to win. Don't know how, if I'm going to, but I'm going to win. Or going to try to win. So, um, the reason why I picked this car is because, yeah, it may look junk on the outside, but underneath, this thing is spotless. And also, on the body, just very minimal rust. Like, this is really the only really bad spot. The rockers are good yet. I mean, it's mint condition it is flaky on the frame but it is all solid there is no no holes that we can find we actually tipped this car on the side and looked underneath and she is spotless bumper is uh good good to the rules or whatever I like that emblem i'm gonna save that for sure Tires are all flat, which not gonna bother me any. I mean, this thing is spotless. Uh, the reason why I picked this car is this was pretty much one of the best cars out there. Um, interior is trash. If it was good, I would have I would have saved it for my truck. That's not much better. But um, the doors actually. Don't shut, which, oh well, don't matter because I'm going to chain them all shut. I mean, these things are, oh, I love this car. I like the boot too. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, I think the hood's popped. Let's see here. Decent front bumper. It's got a little point to it, but ain't going to help much because these older bumpers aren't good. This thing still has the engine in it. Um, I am going to end up pulling this engine because it's not really what I like running. Um, there's actually no, this was, a, well, since it's the four, the, the alter, not alternator, the distributor should have been right there, but it is missing, so this thing won't run anyway. Um, I did, I'm going to pull this, pull the motor tranny, and then I'm going to put a small block 305 in that I have sitting around, which I'm thinking the one that's in 
the 87 Crown Vic, that one that's painted black with splatter paint. That motor is going to go in here if it's decent yet. If not, I have another one that I'm going to, I, I probably will throw in here. Um, just have to figure out how to mock things up in here. I think I should be able to get that thing to sit in here decently. But I mean, there's no, no rot, or it's flaky, but there's no solid like holes other than factory. I mean, we, I have looked, I looked, I was debating on the other one and it, that was just a rot box. And I just decided, well, this one is like, let's see, shut the hole without bending stuff. Oh, it's so big, I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna save anything that might save the grills and lights and stuff. They're decent yet, which the lights can go for my truck. That's a 68, this is a 61. Chevy versus Ford. <laughs> which, they're actually pretty close to the same paint color too. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm a little sad that I'm going to derby this, but it's going to be a lot of fun. i got to mock a lot of things up, like gas pedals and stuff. I might go a lot of aftermarket stuff. If I might end up buying a bunch of stuff for aftermarket parts and, and, uh, uh, steering should be fine, but very dirty interior. Should be a quick grab and pull and rip everything out. Don't think anything's really worth saving. At least I don't think so. But rear end moves. I don't know how the brakes are. Gotta cut the exhaust off. Got a lot of stuff to do, but I am very happy with this find. Very happy. I'm like very stoked on starting to build this thing too. Ah, oh, I love this thing. This thing is so cool. Um, I am gonna start building this thing pretty soon. Or gonna start on it, start stripping it, getting stuff pulled out, pull the motor tranny, so I got stuff to keep working on it, or not to keep working on to just get it done and when it gets closer i'll start putting the motors motor in tranny in mock up a drive line which i might try to talk to my buddy and let me using his slider if that's allowed in the rules otherwise i'm going to mock up a different drive shaft but the notching tucking i'm gonna take my time and build this thing right i want this thing to last even though it might be done at this derby i'm gonna have a lot of fun but i'm going there and gonna play smart and have have fun but i'm gonna play smart and make sure this thing gets its final goodbye and decent run <sighs> I'm so happy I got this car and I got this thing for a very, very, very good price. I'm not going to say what it is because that way if someone tries to buy this off of me, I won't let it happen though. But if someone tries to buy this off of me, they can't lowball me. They, I mean, they can, but ain't selling it because future derby car right here. But you guys should give me some ideas on what I should paint this as. Maybe I should just leave it how it is and take it there and have the old vintage look at how it was. But, okay, guys, thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I do already have my entry form sent in. Uh, I actually had the entry form sent in before I even picked up this car. I knew which car I was going to get, but still had it all sent in. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're new. 
and we'll catch you guys in the next video.